Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. My name is Bas, and in today's video, we're going to create this flower animation. So here you can see this flower animation. We have the text here and all of these different flower stuff, colorful stuff in here, and a slight zoom in, and some other effects I'll show you at the end here. And these, uh, this whole thing consists of seven flower compositions and the text. So let's quickly go to the text. That's really easy how I did that. It's just some text that goes in. We have all of these separate letters and they all have a, let's just, I'll recreate them for you. Let's single them out and just delete all of those keyframes like that. Okay, so they just pop in with a position keyframe and they come from down here. And I'm going to use a lot of plugins, by the way, in this uh, tutorial. I have Flow here, which can create uh, quick eases for me. So boom, like that. So now they kind of pop in quickly. And then I want them to kind of appear randomly. Um, so, or not all at the same time, but just a little bit later. So the anim animations, those words can be a little bit later than Flower. So that's already one thing done. Let's Put this over there as well but now i want the word flowers to have the f l o so uh, f and then the l one frame further and the o as well and then i want the r and then the e one frame further and then the w two as well so now it kind of goes from the outside in like that and if i want to do the same thing with animation i could do that here as well but i can also use a plugin like rift and if i uh, go to arrange uh, three frames in a sequence ascending boom and then you can have you have this animation so now they really they just come a little bit later and they just shift as you can see they shift this whole thing to the right a little bit so that's really easy i'll delete that and just go back to my original ones which are these so this text okay so then go to the let's go to the first flower i don't have that open here uh, this one oh it's over there so number one so um, we have the shape in the middle and we have these leaves. So let's first parent all the leaves to the shape in the middle. So we, oop, so this controls everything. Maybe have um, this scale up a little bit. Boom, from zero. And then poof, have it pop in like that. And then let's uh, maybe make that a little bit quicker. So now the leaves also all have their own um, scale. So now uh, let's get these leaves, go to R for rotation, and then go back in time here a little bit. And then let's just go with half of these. Let's, and uh, the anchor point, by the way, of these is at the uh, top point here. You can do that by going to the pen behind tool and then dragging and turn on snapping. And then it, can bloop, it snaps on right there. So now that's your pivot point. Cool, all right, I'm gonna turn off snapping again. And um, let's just uh, take these ones, these four, and maybe have them go to that side, and these four rotate to that side a little bit. And I'm going to give this all some excite by motion two. There is a motion four already out, but I'm just still using two. Just, I don't know, you can, am I used to it or something? Um, so now I have this, so now they are all doing that, so that maybe can go a little bit quicker. And I just have them, yeah, nice. Let's go over there. Cool, and now let's just select all of these. I'm gonna go to Rift, and I'm gonna turn off the layer icon. I only have the keys move, so click on this button here again, so you can all, all see all those keys move. So now we have a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a nice, movement of fluid motion in there. So that's basically it, the first flower done. Then the second flower, it's all kind of the same idea here. We have this shape and all these um, blue thingies here. Then we have this bigger shape behind it and those yellow ones. So let's parent the yellow ones to this one and the green ones to this one and give them a scale as well. Um, yeah, scale from zero and popping in so like that maybe also have them no i'm gonna get give, give these all and uh, again here here is the anchor point here let's zoom in here at this point so that's the pivot point so let's give this all a rotation to the from the left to the right so they kind of 
Yeah, maybe make it like this. So ooh, I really pop out. And then give that Excite as well. Excite really does a lot of magic for you. All right, boom. And then uh, Rift again without the layer. There's only the keyframes for now. Ooh, nice. Go a little bit earlier so it kind of, when it comes out, it grows. Yeah, nice. And then these ones, let's do the same here, but then have them turn the other way around like this. And all right, and then boom, excite, boom. I'm just sh showing you how quickly this can be done to create really nice looking animations. So this is way too slow. Okay, like this. And it can be even a little bit faster, yeah, okay. So boom, ah, nice, okay, so that, that flower finished as well. Then number three, is um, we have this, so I want maybe I want um, I won't parent the, all them all of them to that one. Let's just if the position is here or the anchor point is over there, so that's now the pivot point. Just going to scale this up from zero to one hundred, so just like that, really easy. And let's go these ones. I also have them here, so. Let's put the anchor point over there and from this one as well. Give them their own scale. Yep, zero. And boom. Oop. Yep, like this. Okay, and then give them all a rotation, of course, as well. So maybe have these three come from that side and this from that side. A little bit of overlap, never hurt nobody. Okay. Cut them off. No, let's not do that. Let's put these here and then give them some. Or maybe we can do this time. We can turn on the layer so the whole layer shifts, which can be kind of cool. Yeah, and I want these to be faster. Yeah, there you go. So that's that. Nice, and then flower 4B is the same thing here, parent all of them to this. And let's rotate this one in, so it rotates, and have it scale in, so double whammy, boom. And let's just give them both the same easing, like this, Oop. and then the rotation, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, sorry for my weirdness. Uh, excite. Boom, boom, boom. Easy as that, boom. Oh, that's kind of the wrong way. That's not nice. So let's, this is minus 88. Let's make it uh, 88 for all of them. So now they come from a, so it kind of fits. Yeah, that fits better with the um, rotation of the uh, int beginning middle thingy shapey. Okay, cool, flower five. Kind of the same, uh, all of them. It's all scale and rotation basically. But you can see that with these, oops, with these a uh, few subtle effects, subtle, um, nope, uh, with some subtle uh, animation work, there's only scale and rotation uh, stuff and just some excitement on it with the plugin and using rift and you can see how quickly this can be done so animation does not have to take a long time and it can still look good yeah that's maybe a bit too much never overdo it with excite just keep it simple yeah okay and then have this uh, yeah we can just have this uh, scale in very simple, boom, boom, boom. Once you in my room. Okay, and then we have this thing. Fine, number six, this is a little different one. We can have these two uh, little uh, wavy thingies here. Let's just have, have them like pop in with a rotation. So, whoop, this one, boom and boom. And give them some excite.
not at the same time, a little bit of uh, difference, and then have these two maybe just um, no no position scale, and I've put the anchor point. Let's turn these two two off. I put the anchor point for this one at the bottom and this one at the bottom. So if I just scale them down, then they kind of also kind of pop up. Looks like. Yeah, and maybe they go a bit too fast. Okay, and then I have the red one first and then the yellow one. Now they're going a bit too slow. Okay. Perfect, fine. And now we have the last one, which is this little, this big branch. So we have the uh, branch itself, with it, which is a, a line. So I can actually take this line and reposition it. And we have all of these little uh, flags. I want to, I want to say flags, uh, leaves, with all of the anchor points here at the branch, of course. So let's parent all of them to this. It doesn't really need to parent, by the way, though, because but now I can just move it around. But I don't use that here. Uh, oh, uh, go to add a trim, no, trim paths. Oh, it's already on there. Uh, and and then go back to zero. So now, okay, and give this some easy ease. And now it's kind of rip grows in. And then let's have all of these scale up, like from zero. Boom. And let's give all of them this one. So now they all poof, go in. But I want these to grow in first. Let's lock this one. I want these to grow first, and then th these two, and then these two, then these two, because then they kind of go along with the shape of this branch with the, the stick. So I've already placed them in the correct order here. So now I can use Rift again. If I just, I'm gonna press U to close it all up. Uh, Rift, so, um, if I have my layer selected as well, I click on this button, then now it's the other way around. So this one now animates first, as you can see, which I don't want, I want it in reverse. So I go to ascending and go to descending and then click once and then there you go. Maybe click it again and then boom, it does it again. So now we have a little bit more room like that. So maybe drag them in a little bit. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, nice, okay. Maybe once again, so it kind of grows with the branch. Yeah, that's really nice. Okay, I'm going to undo that kind of because I'm going to stay here and I'm going to give them some rotation as well and then do the rift uh, thing. So um, give them all some rotation. Let's select all of the pink ones. So go to the color here and select select label group. And I want them to come from this side and then go to blue, select label group and get, ah, I clicked wrong. Select label group, boom. And now give them all an excite. So now they, oh then, <laughs> let's retime that of course. Zip. Select all of them and then mm, to here somewhere. Let's see how that looks. Cool, and now I want them all to click, click twice. So now we, oh, beautiful. Nice little flower pattern, love it. Yeah, that's basically it. And then we can select all of the blue ones here and then drag them over like one frame. So now they, are not perfectly all in sync. Have a little bit of more, more of a wavy feeling. So when you're finished with all of those, so how long was this? A minute of, or 10, 15 minutes, I think, to animate all of those quickly. And then I create a new composition here, and then I put my um, background in. So just copy the background from, oh, copy the background here. Boom, it's a dark background. And then you can just, pop in the text at the middle, boom. And then you can just kind of uh, yeah, do this, you know, and then duplicate it, put it over there, nice. And then put this one over here and drag it over there. And then you need to fill this whole thing up, of course, whatever you want. And when you're done with those, 
you can uh, duplicate all of them and then put them on the top create a, um, a null object and then parent those ones you want to uh, reverse to that null object and the null object go to right click transform flip horizontal boom oh i don't want the text here so now it's reversed so now you have it in unison but that's a lot of work um, because you need to create all of these it's like a lot of stuff and it's really heavy because a lot of stuff in there i'm just going to um turn um what i'm gonna do yeah i'm going to go in here and just i'm just going to show you we have some more effects to make this a whole nice looking scene so we have a zoom in effect which is just everything all of these compositions all of these separate little flowers here if i select them all of them they're all parented to the zoom in layer and the zoom in layer it has just a little scale from zero or from 100 to like 110 or something i don't know a bit a bit bigger 105 so it kind of gets this subtle zoom in on the whole page it's really slow it's so heavy and we have this vignette layer which you can see it kind of darkens the the, the surroundings a little bit the outside layer and it's just really easy a new uh, let's just first same as up because it's way too heavy otherwise layer new solid with the really dark black or something and then create a get your ellipse tool and click and drag to make a mask so like this go to invert the mask like this go to f for feather and there you have it this is your vignette and you can of course change how this looks and the way you want nice and then we have some effects here as well this is where it gets really heavy as well um even more heavy we have posterized time noise and lens so the noise effect and a four percent noise just makes it a little more grainy i put it at a quarter of a here let's make, put it at full so it's a little bit more grainy if i turn it on and you can see there's a little bit of grain in there i don't know if you can see it here on youtube with compression and stuff but it's just a little bit more grainy film grain uh, that's nice and then we have the posterized time or to set to 12 so the whole animation will then be shown in 12 frames per second which makes it a little bit more gives it that hand-drawn look and then we have the cc lens effect and it's so heavy that i can't really show you how it works but it's just a cc lens um that let's turn these other ones off here and maybe turn off delete the zoom in so now the the cc lens as you if i turn it on or off you can see what happens so we kind of get this shape like it's like going into a tunnel sort of and if you animate the size and the convergence from the beginning here and then all the way over here and then over over here we're going to get this get this more of a tunnel shape um I'll just show you the result right now here so you can see here what is happening and how this animation looks so it's way more um yeah there's a bit more stuff to it with this with these effects uh yeah i'm rambling okay that's it uh, thanks for watching i hope you learned something i hope you love this if you want to download all our project files go to my patreon you can download all of this for yourself to use and whatever to learn from it thanks for watching and see you next time bye, -bye.